Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his monthly bill? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? There's no way that can be right! Hello, and welcome to James the Less Express Lane, where we get you in and out as fast as possible. With so much happened in one day while I was busy, you know, with work, going to my nephew's football game, you know, with friends watching regular football. Yeah, well, it was going to take a while. Let's start with this. Just be tries to rage quit a ranked match or whatever. Guys, he, he must be cheating because he's beating me. There's no way he can beat me unless he's cheating. Well, let's watch. You can't even quit the match? You, they don't even allow you to quit the match. Yes, they don't want people rage quitting matches. This is just so... DSP, it's not that serious. It's a video game. <laughs> that game wow. is the worst fucking fighting game I've ever played in my life. It's not a fighting not game. Ever again. It's not a fighting game, jackass. Only if you guys want to see me play the single player. There is no fucking reason to waste time playing that piece of shit. That is so bad. That, again, if you are a huge fan of Dragon Ball and all you ever wanted to see was, like, dream matches between the characters and you want to play it in, like, a party setting, okay. There is nothing of intelligence there. That is pure button mash counter, 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 counter. The thing with Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is, like, in Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat or Tekken, they try to make the characters balanced. They try to make it that if you want to play as Chun Li, you can play as Chun Li. If you want to play as Honda, you can play as Honda. If you want to play as Scorpion or whatever, you can play as those characters and have a relatively good chance of winning, no matter who you pick. Because those are, in fact, fighting games. Sparking Zero is not a fighting game, it is a Dragon Ball game. So, guess what? Jiren. Ultra Instinct, Goku, Beerus, they are going to dominate. Oh, I don't know. Roshi, Mr. Satan, Videl, Krillin. Now, yes, let's say you're just an absolute baller Mr. Satan player. Maybe you could win. Maybe, you, if no, you get lucky or you press just perfectly play. Maybe you could beat Beerus. But guess what? 99 out of 100 times, Beerus wins because Beerus is a fucking god of destruction. There is no balance in Sparking Zero. Because there shouldn't be balance. Beerus should beat Krillin. Beerus should beat Mr. Saiyan. Ultra Instinct Goku should beat... Uh, Planet Namek Bachita. Like, he should be winning those. Because he's a fucking god. Or because he's Ultra Instinct. Or because he's just that fucking strong. Oh, I picked a character that's abusable. Special move, special move, special move, special move, special move. What the fuck am I playing? This is a fighting game? No. It is not a fighting game. No, it's not. At all. You're right. That's the first time he said something accurate. It's not a fighting game. Oh, you can maybe argue it's an action game. That is not a fighting game. That game is crap. Just so bad. So bad. <laughs> oh my god. It, I'm getting a headache. I'm getting a headache playing it. Guys, he's about to die from playing a video game. Tip him. It's so... I mean, I get it. The graphics are great. I do think the graphics are the best. Like, it's cool to see these characters represented with their real attacks and everything from the, from the show. But, dude, they didn't even try to make that play, like, anything competitive at all. You're right! They didn't try to make it competitive because it's not supposed to be. Beerus is a god of destruction. He is supposed to defeat fucking Raditz. Perfect Cell is supposed to be Goldo. What part of this are you not understanding, DSP, that this is not a fighting game? This game, if it ever does go to evil, which I highly doubt it would, because guess what? It's not a fighting game. It would be just like, oh, hey, you want to blow off steam? We can go over here and play the Sparking Zero tournament. Oh, well, this person's using Vegito. Vegito's so fucking broken. Yeah, but 
It's not that he's broken, it's that Bichiro is that fucking strong. I'm gonna use Namek Gohan when he's no 12 years old, whatever. Wow, 12 year old. Actually, he wasn't even 12 then, was he? He was probably like 8. Oh, 8 year old Gohan's getting destroyed by Perfect Cell? What? Oh, guys. Gochita or Super Saiyan 4 Goku is destroying Raditz. I can't believe it. What's hard to believe about that? They're just that much fucking stronger. That is 100% a fuck around party game. I can't believe that shit. DSP, again, it's not a fighting game. It is a Dragon Ball game. There's no balance. If you wanted to be like, oh, well, uh, we're going to do a tournament, but you can't use, no, half the cast. That's not going to be very fun because, well, you can't use that version of Piccolo. You have to use this version of Piccolo because that version of Piccolo has this move that is broken. Well, fuck you. I'm using Piccolo. <laughs> DSP. It is not broken because there's no balance because it's a Dragon Ball game. This is not Street Fighter 2 Super Turbo for the PlayStation 1. It is Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So yes, Vegito and Beerus and Super Saiyan 4 Goku are going to fucking dominate Raditz and Nappa and the Cybermen and Chiaotzu. Because they're supposed to. Anyways, there's so much to happen. Some of it's going to have commentary, some of it's not. Let's continue. This leads up to something great. But until we get to that point, let's watch this a little bit right here. So guys, we got 10 minutes left. Is this is this the end of the streak? Because it was awesome to have 25 and we were on pace to hit 41. We were every stream we were crushing it. Every fucking stream. You know? So what happened today? I come back from going on Kino Casino, right? Which everyone says they liked the appearance. And I'm thinking, oh, this will be good. This will get hype up. That's why I do those appearances, you know? And now I come back and the streak's gonna end. It's pretty, pretty fucked up, I'm not gonna lie. DSP, the Kino Casino Dents, they went to your streams, they tried to watch you, and they fucking hate it. You're just so bad that you can't keep the Kino Casino Dents interested. Uh, you know, basically, just so you know, all right, and this is not, this is not Kino Casino, but there's, like, people trying to push me into content. There's people trying to get me involved with, like, drama-style content, right? And just so you know, I'm staying out of it. Like, there's people who are like, oh, you got to be a part of this. You should do this. You should do this. And I'm just like, no, I I'm not going to do it because I don't feel like the drama content is the stuff that you guys want, right? You've told me outright. You don't want me involved in drama all the time. But I what I've decided is if I want to have a nice appearance on another show like Kino Casino, I'll do it every once in a while for variety, right? And I think that's a good way to separate the drama from the stuff that I'm doing in my content. But you are doing drama. You have spent hours so-called felting RTU and duty and other detractors. Okay. Because I don't see... I Like, for example, like, let's say I, I got involved in something like a big drama event or something, right? I don't see it benefiting me, right? Like, you guys don't come to this channel or at either of my channels for drama, right? You come to hang out with me. You come to see games, you know, different stuff. You're not here for drama. No, they're not here for drama, but you keep bringing it up because you know that's what makes you money. Drama. So that's why I kind of like, even though I'm getting offered stuff, I'm like, nah, I don't really want to. You know, I'm trying to stay away from that. And I'm definitely trying to take your feedback and do the right thing. All right, I am. I want you to understand that. And the reason I'm bringing it up is, you know. You guys told me to do this, but then you didn't give me a bunch of money. So I'll say that's not what you want me to do. What if that is what they want you to do? They just don't want to give you money. I think that every once in a while, appearing on Kino Casino for drama stuff is good. Just to be silly and hang out with those guys and have a good time. And I did. I had a great time on Friday night. And I hope that everyone who saw that enjoyed it. But that's not the kind of stuff that I want to be involved in all the time. Like, I like to do, like, gameplay. Like, co-op gameplay and stuff I think would be really neat. And that I'm open more, way more open to. You know, maybe doing co-op and, and various different games coming up and stuff like that. Here's the thing, though. When he was on Kino Casino... And they're watching his top 10 racist moments, heavily edited to only make it about six, six parts instead of 10. Which makes you wonder, what parts were so bad that even Kino Casino on kick didn't want to show it? Thing is, it was 90% Kino Casino, 10% Phil. Unless you come to, uh, 
I got, I got. <laughs> if you don't count that part, yeah, it's like 10% Phil, then 90% Kino Casino. So, guys, we had so much fun. Well, what part of that was fun for you? You sat there and you did nothing for 90% of the stream. Hmm. Well, wait, guys. It gets better because he's all, guys, the streak's about to end. The streak! He is so desperate to keep the streak going that he's making up tips. This has to be fake. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, I guess that's it. That's the end of the streak. Except that I just received a $76 anonymous tip. I'm not kidding you. I just received a $76 anonymous tip. Ladies and gentlemen, play the Ghostbusters theme. It's time to fill to detract the scum. Who are you going to call? <laughs> Anonymous, apparently you're going to call because this is such bullshit. King Phyllis, you fucking call. $76 tip. Why would you call King Phil? He's not the one who's doing this. It's Anonymous Tipper, guys. So, I don't know who that was, but thank you so very much. If you do the math, that actually means we just hit $160 of contributions on the stream. That means that the streak continues to 26. That means we are crushing goals, felt and trolls, and it's time to make it rain. No, shut the fuck up. Now, later on in another sh stream of during the WWE Champions, guys, uh, all right, that's $22. Now, all of a sudden, he adds on like $27. Like, hmm, I wonder why this math ain't mathin'. Oh, because he's desperate to keep the streak going, so... All right, this $22 Super Chat is now suddenly worth $27. Shut the fuck up. Don't do the math, guys. Fuck you. And then later on, guys, uh, when I was recording for uh, uh, the Daily Wrap, uh, someone gave me enough money to keep the street going. Yay. He is faking. He's faking the shit because he wants to keep the street going. Now, some say, well, if he's going to keep faking, then people are like, well, there's no need for me to tip or Super Chat because he's going to fake it. To keep the street going. True. So now the question is, what is more important to DSP? Keeping the street going, which inflates his ego, or telling people like guys, no, I'm not faking. We gotta keep the street going. Please tip me. How much will he debase himself to keep the street going? Or will again he just continue to come up with fake tips that happen after the stream or whatever? Like he did during the daily rap and all that bullshit. Well, only one way to find out. God, so much happened. There's still more to go. Waking up says, I have a theory. People hold their tips till the end because they want to be the savior of the streak. Yeah, but here's the thing. You want to do that on a normal stream, right? A gameplay stream. This is not a normal stream. This stream tonight, the whole point is the big suspense that comes in this game is from when I do the polls, correct? So if you're withholding, if right now you're watching this stream and you're like, I want to wait till the end. If you withhold, I'm not going to do the poll. I'm not, once we hit the time that I'm done, which is probably going to be around 9.30ish, if we didn't hit the goal, I'm not doing the poll. And the bummer is, let's say we do the poll and I get Bailey, the new character. There's two tours to do with her and I can't do them because I'm out of time. We need to get that support earlier on for these uh, champion streams so that we can do the polls early, right? Then that's awesome because then that rolls into us making more content. <clears throat> I can totally understand if it's any other gameplay stream, and you're like, ah, it's not a big deal when Phil's get the support. It actually does matter in this stream because the more I make, the more I spend, and the more hype content we have, right? So if you were someone sitting here watching, please support now. Even if you're all oh, going to do the Hail Mary, just do it now. Then we can have fun together, right? 